We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. Pulls it in at the 13. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Marino. down the Ravens able to get to him gotta assume this defense will be charging again here it's second and 15 they'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave them with a third and five I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long but it worked out for them it certainly did and that requires some confidence some fortitude and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. Now Marino on first down. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. They'll run with a big man, Bo Jackson, and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Here's Marino to throw. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Chase Young picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Play action now, Vic. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Steps away. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Hall of Famer, John Lynch. And he will bring this across midfield to the 49-yard line. Not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easy. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. C.D. Lamb. 49 yards, and the Ravens have taken the early lead. They'll roll him out right. That's caught, and he is not going to make it. They stop him up short, and this will remain a 6-0 ball game. And the Jaguars are going to cover this one up. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an outside kick situation. We're all about the numbers, aren't we? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now here's Vic. but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. 
He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. They'll try to throw it here. Vic steps away to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Six nothing our score after one. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. Pat Fryermuth, a five yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from taking the lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And they take the lead here at 7 6. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From the 10. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have... And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off around the 37. They know at the time that you called him old in that pregame meeting, but this guy has been around a long time. There's a trick in the book. He knows it. He probably even wrote a few chapters. And this is what he's always had. And that's a nose for the football. He's able to come away here with the interception. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They'll run now with Bo Jackson. Oh, and Bo's over it. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing, Vic. Dancing to his left. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. So the turnover forced, and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's worked on. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to, and everyone knows their role when they create a turnover like that. From the 24, Marino. They'll get this one to Cobb complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Marino. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Corey Peters in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Throwing on second and long. Vic. Sliding out of the pocket. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. And he'll go down at the 28. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Now a field goal try coming up here for the Jags. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. Blankenship's kick is good. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And last time was a pretty one play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to. Right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by his former Super Bowl teammate, Darrell Revis. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, it certainly looked to me like he tapped into the quarterback's thought process there. And what I'm hearing more and more when I go around the league, defenders sitting in on quarterback 
staff meetings trying to learn more about how they think so they can be in the right position to be in the right spot as he was there to pick that one off and take it all the way back for a touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken from about the 12. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. Now Brady to try again after the pick six. Flush to his right. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And this one is incomplete. Second and 10. To throw, it's Brady. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing now is Brady. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. A big connection on that one. 32 yards. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well to get a few stops. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. To throw is Brady. just get rid of it. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their route, and you're usually pretty precise. One, two, three, cut, balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of 